Sometimes we need to work with liquid plaster, but it's not as easy to work with as some people think, but it's not as difficult as well. So you're going to need some uh, dry plaster, um, or plaster of Paris, some warm water. Um, if you want it to dry slowly or harden slowly, then you would use cold water. Uh, you need another cup for mixing and maybe a couple of sticks for mixing as well. So we're going to say that I'm going to apply some liquid plaster on here to smooth over my older plaster. It's a good idea to make the older plaster a little damp before you put on new plaster because sometimes it won't stick. So first thing I'm going to do is fill it less than halfway with water. If you go halfway, it won't work. And plaster gets mixed in an unusual way. It's a combination that sometimes is dependent on the humidity in the air. So it can be different from day to day how much you need. So you can't say two cups of water, two cups of plaster. It's just not going to work that way. So I have my plaster. I've got my stick. My cup is less than halfway full of water. I'm actually going to go a little bit less than that just to be safe. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my plaster. Little at a time. And I'm going all around the cup and filling it up little by little. If you dump it in too fast, you can sometimes have too much plaster and then it's going to cause you some problems later on. It might be too hard to work with um, or too brittle. So we want to get the right mix. So you keep adding in the plaster little by little until it will no longer go under the water and it starts to make islands. And there we go, it's starting to get there. All right, so now I've got some islands that are not going underneath the water, so we've got a good mix. If it's still all underneath the water, then it's not right. Then you would go ahead and mix that up. And you should cover your surface with something. I've got some cardboard underneath. Now we can use this liquid plaster to fill in areas. So we could do that on here. Fill that in almost like spackle. And you can use your fingers to smear that in. It's not going to hurt you. And if you want to smooth it even more, you can dip your finger in a little bit of water and then rub that on the surface and that will fill it in too. Liquid plaster will generally dry and harden. Well, not dry, but it'll harden usually within about five to ten minutes. It can also depend on how much you mix it and um, the temperature of the water that you're adding into it. So liquid plaster is a great way to add a top coat. And again, using a wet finger is a great way to kind of smooth it. Now let's say you wanted to do plaster bandages um, to cover a surface like for a sculpture, but you didn't happen to have the kind that's already created for you. You can get some scraps of fabric and then cut it into little strips. And then these strips can be added into the plaster little by little this way. And then it's kind of like you're making your own plaster gauze. We'll add that in there. I don't want to lose the end. Go ahead and strain that through my fingers. And then I can go ahead and add it to my form. So I have a little bit of foil here. I think foil makes a great armature for plaster. So I can add that on there. And smooth it. It's also a great way to recycle by using some old fabric and putting it in plaster. Now, this is going to be rather messy, as you can already see. Um, you really need to cover your surface well. Now plaster will come out of your clothes after you wash them. It's not very permanent, but um, if you get it into something that can't be washed like a rug, it's going to be there forever. So I can continue to wrap this up and it'll harden just like the plaster bandages will. Um, the fuzzier your fabric is, the better. Now another thing that can be done with plaster is sometimes in sculptures it's used to create like icing. So students could do like donuts or something and they need to have some frosting on top. You can actually add 
some acrylic paint. A little bit of acrylic paint mixed in will give you a colored plaster, and this will also slow down the drying time, which might be a good thing. If you want plaster to dry slow, you can also add some Elmer's glue or some acrylic uh, gloss medium. Almost any kind of acrylic added to your plaster is going to slow down the drying process or the hardening process. So these are some tips for using um, liquid plaster. My last tips are, you're really gonna have to clean your hands in a bucket before you go to a sink. If this stuff goes down a sink, it could create a stone and block the pipes. So it's really important to have a couple of buckets ready so that you can wash your hands in the buckets and dump that water out into the grass. The grass is gonna love the plaster. It's not gonna hurt anything outside. So go ahead and use liquid plaster. Don't be afraid of it. Hopefully you're not afraid of the mess.